I have just finished reading the most amazing book and I'm about to make it everybody's problem. <coughs> so this book is fucking amazing and it's only got like 180 reviews on Goodreads. So I was gonna make a different video next because I read some something else pretty good that um, I was gonna make like a really detailed video for but I just like have to put this out because people need to read this book. This author just deserves more recognition for this. This book is Rebel by Rahaf Muhammad. Apologies to the author if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. And I believe it's it's as told to um, Sally Armstrong. So I believe she may have been translating. I've read other like escape from totalitarian country memoirs before. I read In Order to Live by Yenmi Park and I just adored that too. But something about this book it just hits so different for me i think it's because i seriously resonated with the author so much i just felt very connected to her through this book and through her just really really strong personality and strong voice i mean it's all there on the cover this is the story of a young woman i think she was 19 when she escaped from an abusive somewhat elite and powerful family in saudi arabia to canada she was 19 when she escaped i believe she's something like 22 23 now and it's just the story basically of what her life was like in saudi arabia and how she escaped, and a lot of her thoughts on the culture there. And I think what I found really gripping about this book and a reason why I think feminists need to read this book is because she has a very lucid and clear criticism of the, the culture that she grew up in. And the ways that she describes it and analyzes it, I feel like are different and full of more depth than I've seen in other like escape memoirs written by women. I feel like in In Order to Live, a lot of what she talked about was kind of, oh, things were like this in this country, um, like things were like this in North Korea, and that's fine. But I thought what was so gripping about this was not only could she like describe how things were in Saudi Arabia, she also had like very coherent biting takedowns for, for this culture that she grew up in. Like she has a very, very well fleshed out analysis of the ways that patriarchy functions in her country, especially good for, for her age, because most Western feminists don't understand patriarchy this well when they are 19. So yeah, I really liked that about this. I feel like this, I feel like a lot of like escape memoirs have like kind of a very generic like, oh, things are bad there and they're good here kind of thing where they don't really provide a lot of super in-depth like cultural criticism. But I felt like this has like very good feminist criticism in it and it very well illustrates a lot of the more like nitty gritty ways that patriarchy works. Like she talks about having a very good relationship with her brothers when they're younger and then as they grow older they're taught by their older brothers that they should disrespect her and so it kind of is a really good illustration of how like men are kind of socialized into behaving patriarchally towards women and behaving abusively towards women i will say that the descriptions of abuse in this were absolutely fucking shocking and i thought she did an amazing job of talking about how she felt you know, she loved her family, um, even though they beat her in the most horrific ways possible, where there were there were literally parts of this where I was like, that could have killed you. It, it was a really good description of what abuse is like, but also she had a very strong and healthy reaction to it, where it was like, yes, I still feel, I, you know, feel love and I miss my abusers, but also I won't hesitate to block them 
if they try to guilt trip me, which is what she does in this. And it just like the, I felt like the ways that she described her family relationships were so, so vivid. And you could see the complexities of the ways that patriarchy really damaged her family and damaged her relationship to her family. Yeah, I thought that that was very well done. You know, there is so much that isn't said directly in this but is so well illustrated. Like her brother being an absolute monster, like, sir, turn on your location, I just wanna talk, beats her senseless every opportunity he gets, just degrades her every opportunity he gets. But as soon as she requests psychiatric medications from him, suddenly he's her best friend. So that is also like another example of like how, A, how women are over medicated and medication is used to suppress us, and B, how men kind of try to implicitly enforce patriarchy by, you know, acting violently if you act badly or in ways they don't want, acting like your best friend and your guardian if you act the ways they do want. I feel like this is a lot more about her observations about her country and kind of about her basically feminist awakening and like awakening of, um, her self-awareness and kind of self-preservation and self-love. Yeah, I, I found it really, really powerful to read about the process of that. Like, read about how she went from, like, confusion about, like, why her family treated her so badly and why she was treated so badly for acting wrongly to total clarity of, like, oh, this is how the system works. Like, this is why I'm, I'm, getting, public, uh, I'm getting punished for, for acting what you think is incorrect. I think the number one thing that I found just <laughs> fucking amazing about this book is just this author's energy. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm hoping that this isn't inappropriate to say, but she... It's an absolute badass. Like, like, Miss Muhammad, if you are watching this, you need to listen to Bad Girls by Pussy Riot, um, if you haven't already, because that is literally your song. Good girls played a man with a beard, but God is a woman and she's tough and she's queer. Like, she is not a timid personality at all. And I felt like that made this escape narrative narrative so much more gripping. I don't want to say it's all the more haunting to think about what would have happened to her because obviously any woman being trapped in a society like this is a tragedy. However, the thought of somebody this vibrant and this snarky and this much of a leader being forced into that society, that makes the picture of what that psychological torture would look like all the more vivid. I mean, for women like this, for strong-willed, really personable, really vibrant, really creative women, societies like this are especially brutal and they are, I mean, they're, they're especially tragic because it's like you are suppressing so much latent potential. There's like a line in here where I almost spat out my drink where she talks about how she had not one secret girlfriend, but several secret girlfriends. In Saudi Arabia, this girl was playing the field basically and she had several girlfriends while she was at school. She's talking about like escaping and how she like She's like, oh yeah, and I was like, I bought like a short skirt at the mall with my family because I knew I would be able to wear it when I got out. And there's also like, she's like, when she's like packing her bag to escape, she's like stuffing all of her secret lingerie into this bag. Absolute insanity. She is not just a rebel for escaping, but she fought like every fucking second she was here. There's like, her parents are like catching her with like lesbian porn on her phone and like all kinds of just crazy shit. At one point she like literally slides into, she like friends this girl on Facebook and like straight up slides into her DMs and like asks to start a relationship with her despite the risks. There's like one point where she like, 
sneaks this guy that she met online into her house and they have sex and like the book describes it as like he did me and I liked it. The sheer brazenness of this, I mean no wonder she made people over there cranky because she's a freaking force. People like this can't be suppressed. They're just, I'm sorry, she's just too powerful. Um, you can't fucking stop her. She was basically like one strike and you're out for her family um, when she was trying to contact her family after the escape. She contacts her mom and her mom tries to give her that bullshit and she just, she deletes her number. Yeah, just really, really amazing. I highly, highly recommend. Anybody who wants a really good survival story, a really good liberation story, picks this up because it it's amazing. This author has such a personality on her and I would love to read more books from her in the future. I would love to see what she gets up to in the future. Literally, this book made me feel just such a kinship with the author because I also am not that timid, oh, I'm gonna sneak around and escape. I am very like, like no one tells me what to do kind of thing. Yeah, I, I really, really resonated with that in the author. I really resonated with how outspoken and intelligent and analytical she was. How she just wasn't afraid to go after what she really wanted. How she, she spends a lot of time speculating about like, how she is the only person in her classes to speak up and she's wondering like why don't these other people look up when they when they hear me saying these things are they just really scared of the realization that i've allowed myself to come to i i wish the author all the absolute best um i hope that she gets to go swimming all she wants um i hope that she can date as many boys and girls as she wants and wear whatever the hell she wants. I hope that she never even thinks about her asshole family members and that she can find um, a new found family of people who give her the respect and love that she seriously deserves. Women like this are so hated and so underappreciated. And honestly, they're like my favorite kind of person. <laughs> I picked this up on kind of a whim and I'm so happy that I did. This was a very, very, even though it deals with some dark topics, I found this so, like, I guess, um, comforting to read just because I felt a real kind of closeness with the author, um, given her voice and super commanding character and super, um, just vibrant and, um, yeah, vibrant and loud personality. Check out Rebel by Rahaf Muhammad, and I will see you in the next video. That's it. Bye.